Hey everyone, Rafael Gonzalez here with Keller Williams Realty, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the pros and the cons of living in tradition. If you're new to the channel and wanna know everything about the cities, the neighborhoods, and the homes here on the Treasure Coast, then go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with all of the newest videos. Many people are reaching out with questions about what's going on on the East Coast and where to live here, and I love helping them. So if you have any questions or even thinking about moving to the area, feel free to either call, text, or email me, and I can help answer your questions in whatever way works for you. So let's get right into it. One of the first pros of living in tradition is there is a ton of stuff to do. Tradition has plenty of shopping and restaurants. Whether it's the landings or the village square, you won't have to leave to find what you need. The community also organizes a ton of events like shows, concerts, classes. Probably my favorite is Chow Down and Shop Around, which is a food truck rally with local vendors. And a con is that unfortunately, tradition is about 30 minutes to the beach. Now you might be asking, why is that a con? Well, living on the Treasure Coast means that everything is a beach town or city, and tradition being west of Port St. Lucie means that it's actually the farthest you can get from the beach in our area. But don't worry if you love the beach and can live with being just 30 minutes away, here's a tip from a local. To get to the beach quickly, take Crosstown Parkway instead of tradition's entrance on Gallon. That way you can avoid the traffic and take the Jensen Beach Causeway over to the ocean. And another pro and one of my personal favorites about Tradition is all of the new construction options and communities that are available. We have so many new home options, all with different builders, with their own character and design, and a ton of community exclusive amenities. If you like modern, Mediterranean, coastal, and any other styles, ask me about the different builders and communities that might suit your taste. And if you're okay with an existing community, you'll have access to some of the greats that are already built and ready to go, like Town Park and Battaglia. They're still young and finished their last phases, so you won't have to worry about construction right outside your front door. With that being said, a con to tradition is that since it's still so young, it's still growing. There are so many new communities like Tolero and apartments growing, and down Village Parkway, they're even working on commercial properties to bring more business and jobs to the area. So you'll notice more construction going on south in tradition, but you won't see that around the landings or village square, so keep that in mind if you're thinking of moving here. Another con with tradition, and really St. Lucie County in general, are the high property taxes. St. Lucie County consistently is one of the most expensive in the state, so that is one of the downsides to this area. And unfortunately, on top of that, tradition is considered a master plan community, and for all that comes with it, it's going to ask for its own master association fee on top of any community development district or CDD fees. So while those fees can add up, you're still getting a lot of value for less than what it would cost if you chose a similar community farther down in South Florida. And speaking of going farther south, another great pro to tradition is in its location. Tradition is exactly in the middle of both Miami and Orlando, and your commute to either city is just under two hours since I-95 is so close by. This makes it really easy for a day trip to get out on the weekend and do something a little bit different, whether it's the theme parks, art, or nightlife, and still be back home the same day. And if you live an active lifestyle, then this next pro just might be your favorite. Tradition has miles and miles of trails. I actually recorded a tour of me driving around Tradition so you can see where all the stores and communities are. So if that's something you'd like to see, remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. But you can see those trails connect all of Tradition. If you like biking, running, or even walking around a clean, safe, and beautiful area, then you'll love it here. Or if swimming or the gym is more your speed, pretty much every community here has a pool and a gym in their clubhouse. So this one can go either way, but a pro and a con to tradition is that every home in this area is in an HOA. Now the pros and cons to an HOA can be its own video, but what it means in tradition is each HOA is in its own gated community with its own amenities like a pool in the clubhouse at a cost of additional rules like how the exterior of the house must look or even that you might need to be at least 55 years or greater to live there. So recently, a bunch of people have been reaching out with different questions, everything from where to live, what schools are good, and what is there to actually do in and around the Treasure Coast. If you have any questions yourself, feel free to shoot me a text or give me a call. I really love getting these questions and helping people figure out if this area would be a good fit for them. So if anything like that comes up for you, let me know how I can help.